Okay, everybody, so we're going to create a Noodle Tools account. So please start by going to noodletools.com, then select Login. From here, click on the Register button, and then please select a Noodle Tools MLA Lite account. For your personal ID, we would like for you to enter your long ID. For your password, enter your short ID. Retype your password. For your initials, type in your initials and select the last four digits of your phone number. Now that you've created your account, you're going to create an MLA Works Cited for all of your articles. So go to New Project. Enter your project title. And then submit. From here at the top, you're going to select sources. When you are into sources, we're going to create a new citation. And the first citation that you did was the Gale article, which is a database. So select database, original content in database. And now what you would do, there's two things you can do. If the citation is given to you, you'll copy and paste it here by selecting this one. If not, you do have to enter all of the information that's, um, that you can find from the article. Since Gale is a database, it does give us the citation already. So if you go back to your Google Drive and you click on your Opposing Viewpoints and Context folder, select your Gale article, and you're going to see all your highlights and notes when you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you're going to see the source citation right here, this whole thing. And what you're going to do is just simply copy and paste this. So copy would be control C, go back to Noodle Tools, select the quick cite option to copy and paste, and paste it by uh, control V. It should look something like this. When it does, just click Submit. And your first citation is done for you. So you just have to do that one more time for the next citation. If you found another Gale article, you're going to do the same thing by going to Create New Citation, clicking on if it's, um, if it's Gale, it's a database. But if not, if you found your second article just on a website, then select Website select web page and then this is where you are going to need to go back either to your doc um, in your Google Drive or you need to actually find the exact page where you looked up the information. So I'm going to model how to take a website and cite it. So if this is the the one I used, then I do need to take the article title, copy it, and paste it into article title. I need to take the URL, this is the web address, copy that, paste that, look for the date of publication, which was January 12th, 2007. The date that I accessed it, which may have been today. The contributors, there is an author, so I have to go back. Her name is Carolyn Knorr. Be sure to spell these correctly. The 
the name of the website was CNN. Since the publisher for the site is the same as the site name, we don't need to rewrite it. And that's it. Submit it. And there's your second citation. So you're going to do this for all of your sources. When you've done that, you have completed an MLA work cited on noodletools.com and you're ready for the annotated bibliography.